New funds are in the process of launching new projects at College of the Canyons. Hello, I'm Mark Archuleta with your SCV News Break for Friday, March 16th. At this regular meeting Wednesday night, the College of the Canyon Board of Trustees approved $35 million for modernization projects using a second wave of Measure M bond money. The new money will help provide scheduled maintenance and site upgrades, including the replacement of the Student Services Administration Building, which will be torn down and rebuilt as a two-story structure. The money will also fund the current library expansion project. If you're going to be allegedly drinking and driving, cutting in and out of traffic down Highway 14 and then nearly rear-ending an unmarked deputy vehicle, don't flip off the officer as you pass by. Silmar resident Carlos Rano driving a Ford F-150 apparently did all of that around 8 a.m. according to the California Highway Patrol. The suspect fled from two deputy vehicles at speeds ranging from 50 miles per hour up to 85 miles per hour. CHP assisted in the pursuit and Ruano voluntarily pulled over at the southbound Sand Canyon exit. He will be booked on suspicion of felony evading and suspicion of driving under the influence. The city of Santa Clarita said goodbye to their director of community development, Paul Brotsman, at a retirement ceremony today. Brotsman had been with the city seven years overseeing redevelopment, community preservation and overall planning. He said he was most proud of completing the city and county joint One Valley, One Vision plan. He said he's sorry that some projects will not be completed due to the end of redevelopment agencies. The city had acquired a major block in downtown Newhall. We had a significant project that was in the works for that block, which would have been a major revitalization for that area. It's questionable now whether that project can ever proceed. Brotsman will continue to consult with the city on two issues, the Whitaker Burmite cleanup and a billboard ordinance. Coming up, a species of invasive mosquitoes have been sighted in nearby areas. Find out what precautions you can take to protect your community. That's coming up after the break. This SCV News Break is brought to you in part by Frontier Toyota. It's Toyota's number one for everyone sales event. It's a great chance to say big on our most popular models. Recently, Tundra was ranked the most dependable large pickup for the seventh straight year. Right now, for a limited time, you can get 0% APR financing on a new 2012 Tundra. Plus, drive with the peace of mind that comes with Toyota Care, a complimentary maintenance plan with roadside assistance. With the season's best deals, I'd hurry in for this one. The great savings won't last long. Don't miss out. This SCV News Break is brought to you in part by Frontier Toyota. Officials are asking the public to report any daytime mosquito activity and take immediate measures now to remove miscellaneous containers, trash, and old tires from their properties before they fill up with rainwater this weekend. Each water-filled container can allow hundreds of mosquitoes to hatch and emerge into biting adults in just seven days. Invasive Asian tiger mosquitoes were found last fall in the cities of El Monte, South El Monte, and in unincorporated area of L.A. County, just south of the city of Duarte. Warming weather appears to have triggered egg hatching and adult biting activity. For more information on what precautions to take against this problem, visit glacvcd.org. College of the Canyons is hosting this year's Women's Conference at the Dr. Diane G. Van Hook University Center, Saturday from 8 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. The event gives attendees information and support in business, education, career exploration, financial planning, and women's health services. Admission is $15. And you can still get tickets for the Seroptimus International of Greater SCV's Fashion Show at the Hyatt on Sunday. Boutiques open to the public at 3, and the Supper Club starts at 5.30. Visit SIGSEV.org for ticket and information. Well, now a look at the weather. We had a high of 58 degrees in the Santa Clarita Valley today, 58 in San Fernando, and 60 in Ventura County. We've seen a considerable increase in cloud coverage over the last few days, and we'll continue to see that this weekend. A winter storm is approaching Southern California, and it will be bringing snow to elevations above 3,500 feet and rain to the Santa Clarita Valley. You can expect gusts up to 45 miles per hour Saturday and Sunday, with a chance of rain on Monday. 
The rest of the week will be partly cloudy with temperatures rising into the upper 60s by Wednesday. A CalArts student submitted the winning logo in the SEV Family of Water Suppliers contest that invited students from CalArts College of the Canyons and the Master's College to create a new logo for the family. Melissa Kuo's winning logo design was one of more than 20 entries and now is the official logo of the SEV Family of Water Suppliers, which is a cooperative organization made up of CLWA, Valencia Water Company, Santa Clarita Water Division, New Hall County Water District, the Los Angeles County Water Works Division No. 36, and the City of Santa Clarita. The group held a ceremony honoring Kuo's work and presented her with a check for $2,500, that was the grand prize. The family is committed to promoting efficient, sustainable water use in the SCV. Well, for more Santa Clarita news, log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thank you for joining us. I'm Mark Archuleta. This SCV news break is brought to you in part by Frontier Toyota. Are you all-you-can-eat kind of hungry? Kyoto Seafood Buffet offers an endless feast of your favorite Asian and American cuisine. Sizzling hibachi cooked right in front of your eyes. Fresh, delicious sushi, succulent crab legs, shrimp, oysters, and more. Kyoto Seafood Buffet offers an all-you-can-eat weekday lunch for just $9.99. Not in the mood for seafood? No problem. From steamy chow mein, tangy barbecue chicken, and savory roast, we've got your cravings covered. Visit Kyoto Seafood Buffet in the Big Lot Shopping Center on Soledad Canyon Road.